Hello, my name is Mary McConnell and I am the Director of Civil Engineering at an architecture engineering firm. I knew in sixth grade that I wanted to be an engineer and I started telling my teachers that I wanted to be an engineer and that was really important because they did support me and they gave me extra attention, science and math related things that helped me uh, be able to even get admitted to a university. Very early on in college, I started seeing fewer and fewer girls. And as I got to the higher level classes, I realized that there were only a couple of us and sometimes I was the only one in the classroom. And I was worried about that. I didn't know at the time that that was actually gonna be my superpower. And in the summertime and in the fall, um, I would miss a semester. So it took me a little bit longer to graduate um, to do internships and co-ops that was paramount to my career. I learned surveying. I was a concrete journeyman. I worked in a testing laboratory for materials. I did bridge inspections, pile driving, asphalt installation. I was often the only woman out in the field and these were some of the hardest lessons that I ever learned in my career. I was mocked, I was intimidated, I was approached inappropriately multiple times I was told that I didn't belong there and I was just absorbing it. I thought that I just needed to be tougher, that I needed to think like a man, that I needed to be more masculine. And um, it was actually quite the opposite. Inside of all of my surveying and bridge construction and pile driving and paving internships, I learned that there were all of these other careers that if maybe engineering wasn't for me or maybe I wasn't smart enough, that was a story that I was telling myself, I could get these other degrees or um, certificates or tech degrees that were respectable careers that made really good money. And I, it really gave me a sense of having something to fall back on. So it's better to do a couple of things, maybe one thing very well, than it is to know how to do a whole lot of things a little bit. I grew up in poverty. My parents did not support my education. I was nearly bullied out of my internships and I failed some classes that made me scared that I wasn't gonna go to college. I made a lot of mistakes in my career along the way. I want to let you know that your circumstances don't matter. What your parents think about you does not matter. What people say to you or about you does not matter. And what you're doing is just about you. Ask for help. Tell people your dreams and your aspirations. Tell people that you trust the scariest thing that you're most afraid of having go wrong. It is okay to not know. The phrase, I don't know, was the scariest phrase that I could think of growing up and early in my career. And now I just say, I don't know, but I bet you we can find somebody who does. So I have learned that not knowing is an invitation for learning.